for an independent Palestinian state. Our hopes should not really be succumbed to the caprices of the Israelis. We have been struggling for the last 45 years to end this occupation. And with our steadfastness in the occupied territories and in Jerusalem, we are going to continue our struggle through peaceful resistance, through democratic means, to gain our independence. It's a shame for the international community that is supporting what is allegedly to be a democratic country that has been you know, ruling over for 45 years and trying more or less to desecrate our religious, our religious sites and control our land under the name of Eretz Israel and what have you. This shame has to stop and the international community owes it to the Palestinians to fulfill their self-determination and to have their own independent state. I tell you, I tell you my friend, today we are trying to renew our vows, our commitment to justice, to independence, to political sovereignty for the Palestinian people and we hope that justice will prevail one of these days. Tell me, don't you need help from other countries? We need help from the international community. We need help from every freedom fighter. We need help from all those people who believe in our struggle for self-determination, in our freedom, in gaining our justice. And do you see Iran as a, 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 someone that will help you? Iran has its own agenda. Iran has its own problem in the region. We cannot mix apples with oranges. We are with the Iranian people. We accept any support that comes from the people. And this is why the Palestinians have always been freedom fighters and loving for peace and justice. And if the West is not treating the Iranians justly, the Iranian people, we are with the Iranian people. And do you think that the Palestinians can make peace between themselves? I'm sure it's because of Israeli meddling that you have problems. We are, we are now reconciling. We are trying to uh, narrow our wedge of differences. Now Hamas and Fatah have been in total in total coordination, we're synchronizing our effort, we're trying to put the bits and pieces together to form our national unity government, and inshallah very soon it will be there. And will the Arab Spring be of help to you? We hope that the Arab Spring first take care of its Arab people. But we believe in the Arab people, in their support, in their freedom, in their quest for independence. We are happy to see a new breed of Arab, uh, Arab people. Now, with this Arab Spring, what I call the Arab Awakening and not the Spring, we are hopeful to see a new Middle East, to see a new perceptions, to see a new wave of support, to see democracy and reforms coming back to the, to the Arab Middle East. And that in itself is the biggest support for the Palestinian people. Thank you. Thank you.